Hello beauties, today I have this slate smoky eyes for you guys. I think this would be perfect for a date night or just going out. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. As always, I am starting off by priming my eyelids. Today I'm using the Wet n Wild Fergie Eye Primer and just applying that all over my lid and my lower lash line. I am first going in with the color Orange Soda and just working that really lightly into the crease. This will be our transition shade, which means it will help the next colors that we apply to blend nice and seamlessly. I'm going in with the color Chocolate and applying that right into the crease. This color will help to start the defining of the crease and just bring it all the way through right into the inner portion of the crease and just blending it upwards into the orange soda. And then just blending that all out. I'm using a clean blending brush to do this. And going in with a small amount of black diamond, I am, as always, using this to really darken and deepen up the crease. And then using that clean blending brush to blend it all out. I'm using some of orange soda to help blend everything even further. And then also I'm using some of the chocolate shade and kind of working that a little bit higher in the crease to add that gradient effect. I'm applying some of the cream right on the top of all of the colors just to help blend out the edges even further. For the lid I'm adding the e.l.f. glitter glue right on. And as you guys have noticed, this is just one of my favorite little tricks to make the eyeshadows more pigmented and more glittery. I sprayed my brush with some setting spray and then I dipped it into the color Slate and I'm going to be patting that right on top of the glitter glue. I sprayed my brush again and dipped it into silver and then we're just going to apply this right onto the center of the lid. This will add more dimension to our lid. Just taking a clean blending brush to blend out any of the edges. And going in with black diamond to really deepen up the crease. Blending that all out. I'm taking a little bit more of the chocolate color and applying that right into the upper crease area just because I want this to be a little bit darker and less orangey. Now that I lined my upper and lower waterline with the black liner, I am going in with the color Slate first to smudge out the lower lash line. And then going in with silver to add more of that shimmery shade, deepening it up with black diamond. I'm using the black liner just to darken up the lower lash line a little bit more. I applied my winged liner and then now of course I have to bring out that silver NYX liner and I am applying that right onto the center of the lid where we applied that silver shadow just to make it even more glittery. I'm going to apply mascara and lashes and then I will be back with the lip color. Oh and I almost forgot, I once I get the liner on I like to go back in with the black diamond shade and apply that into the crease area. To deepen it up a little bit more or blend out the edges. Now that the lashes and liner on the eyes are complete, so let's move on to the lips. 
For today's lips, I'm going to first be applying Revel's New Delight, and I'm just going to apply that all over the lips. And then I'm going to blot my lips. Then for the gloss, I'm going to be applying NYX's Tiramisu Butter Gloss all over. Alright, and here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned something new today. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and also subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all soon. Bye!